discuss the most contentious <laughs> matters of the mind. What's even better about it is the fact that like we're trying to digest everything they're saying, right? Like how pretentious is it to be like, oh, well, this is what's wrong or what's right with what they're saying. Yep. Like it's so self-elevating. It's right. great. Also, there's just these the... little out of context bites that have nothing to do with anything. But this is what's so great about it. And like the it, fact though, that because... the people that you picked, like everything about it is absurd. It is absurd. Oh, dude, I got... Dude, I'm keeping this going. I I have a good feeling about this because this is all these people are polarizing as heck to mm-hmm. somebody, mm-hmm. right? In in for various yes. reasons. Yes. No, dude. That's oh, like this... the Russell Brand stand up uh, special he did a few years ago. Mm. That was his point. He had Gandhi, Jesus. He oh, told was me it. about this. Mother Teresa, I believe, and uh, Martin Luther King Jr. And he it was exactly that point. It was that all of these people are beloved and hated. Yep. I don't think I, I think that there is no such thing as like a a purely like admired person. Yeah. I mean it was right. a really interesting special. I think it was one of his best specials I've seen. Man, we gotta get through these, man. Nonviolence is a weapon of the strong. I mean, my first thought is if you drink too many IPA beers, you're going to have some saggy pecs. Um, <laughs> my next thought. On violence is a weapon of the strong. Maybe. I, I, I want to I modify that and say it's that weaponized restraint. by the strong. Well, like the, the strong really restraint like it when a... the people are nonviolent. So Thaddeus Russell has this point about the civil rights movement that the nonviolent part of the civil rights movement got a uh, sort of suburban white America on the side. MLK said, no, 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 we're peaceful. We're these really good people. Mm. And the violent contingent got the government scared. So, wow. So it actually needed both. So you need, you need the balance of it all. Right. And at MLK in one of his letters from the, from the Birmingham jail, wrote to uh, Kennedy, he said, basically your choice is me or those rioting people. Waka waka. I'm just trying to see how long we can keep that pause going. Oh, I spoke. Dang it. It's all right. It was good. Yeah. All right. Next next one. We got it. We got it. God has no religion. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) This is a funny one. To me, it's funny. Right. Because to say God has no religion. Well, because you're, because Christian, because uh, Jesus is Jewish, right? His religion is Judaism. God's religion is Judaism. (sighs) Yeah. 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 It's true. (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I like I, 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 I knew I knew that one was gonna get you. <laughs> I actually think that like this is where it's weird because my my development, my interpretation is that it's not that at all, really. Right. Like Jesus was actually like kind of a hippie, right. very much a hippie. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, man. But he was a rabbi. He was a rabbi. I don't know if he was sanctioned, though. I don't know if he had his permits. I don't well, think he uh, the, the Pharisees called him rabbi. Yeah. I think that that's a... Oh, I don't want to get hung up on that stuff right now. Okay. All right. Because, like, because, because then it's... It, it, I almost... How do I say it? All those details matter a lot, mm-hmm. and yet they don't. Right, but right? I think I see, what this is like getting a, at is like, that again, God like is assertions. pre-religion. Religion comes after God. God has no religion. So it, it's religion it's, comes after God. It's like the idea that music theory. We talked about this the other week. Music theory comes after the music as a right, description right, of the music. Right. right. I could see that. I could see that. God has no religion. He just loves everybody. Well, because God doesn't need religion. Everybody. Religion is about understanding God. God doesn't need that. Yeah. Then why have a priesthood? To help us 
get God. Okay, we're gonna move on. God help us. Okay. No, I'm, I'm or right. don't. God, don't or don't. Me. I'm fine. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. You're not on the list. You're not on the list. <laughs> I only got four right. I'm not getting in. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. You know, well, at least into the quote heaven. Yeah. Quote heaven. <laughs> quote heaven. Yeah. yeah all right. We, we got quota. We're, we're giving quota we're giving Nelson quotes. the short shrift here. No, no, he's gonna get the full time. Okay. Oh, this first one you said was Bonaparte. This one I thought, I, this one I was kind of shocked you said it was Bonaparte. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. It's just kind of long winded. No, it's not. It's and a so sentence. It struck me as French. All these are a sentence. Okay. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. I, because like this is why I thought this is why I was surprised you didn't like this one. I was I was thinking you would say Gandhi or Mandela because it's speaking more of this uh, moral or emotional perseverance. Where I, I I think of of Napoleon as a yeah. physical enactor, right? right? But he was also a thinker. He was a philosopher. Sure, sure. But I don't think. But I don't see. In my mind, the guy that goes around conquering, mm-hmm. right, that presents himself as a conqueror, as I'm going to invade you with my army, he doesn't resent people. He just, like, invades But that's them. what I'm saying is he actually – somebody like Napoleon stands to lose the most by uh, getting hung up in resentment. Maybe so. Because then Maybe he'll start right. to make strategic mistakes. He had another he's quote. poisoning his own strategy. There's another quote of Napoleon that actually just correlates to what you said. Mm-hmm. Or ne- it's not a direct correlation, but it's it's somewhat related. Uh, it was never stop your enemy when they're making a mistake, right? Mm-hmm. Or I, I'm sorry, maybe it wasn't never stop. It was never interrupt. Sure, that makes. I sense. think is is it, it's close to the same idea. Mm-hmm. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping. I mean, I agree. Enemies. I like this one. I think it, it's a little bit like uh, jealousy only hurts you. Sure. It, it isn't directly addressing jealousy, but I feel like it's, a, it's along the same lines. These types of negative ruminations about yeah. other people's behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is resentment ever a good quality to resent? Is that like this is what I'm saying, too. Then does it get to a point then that resentment is just never good? I mean, what so what is it doing? It's it's hurting you. You're feeling this negative emotion. That's kind of a mix of anger and hurt. And yeah. Um, is it doing anything? Po- is it helping anything? Is it doing anything positive? Probably not. Yeah, probably, probably not. not. Let's go on. And it's probably not getting the other person to change. No, no. Right. I don't see it as ever. Ha- yeah, you can resent someone as much as you want. Uh, it has nothing to do with their emotions. And usually I, I, resentment can be manifested, but it's also just like this brewing of the yep. individual mm-hmm. it's not it's not as often uh in my mind i associate the idea of resentment not with like outward anger or frustration right. that's experienced it's more like i go in my room and like oh i can't believe they did it. yeah exactly right yeah yep. and i'm kind of like sinister like over like, like <laughs> right now like oh you did this and you did that oh were you like eating a steak Yes. No, <laughs> steak time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny to like, be resentful while eating a steak because a steak maybe, is kind of Maybe like it wasn't opulent. a good cut of meat and it was, I overcooked it and it was really tough. I'm like, no, Who are you resenting? They're so, they're so tough like this piece of meat that I overcooked. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. All right. Next quote. Tread softly. Breathe peacefully. Laugh hysterically. <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny about that i mean it's funny because the first two are very measured and then to input hysterical like hysterical is uncontrollable Mad. off the wall right like crazy you're in hysterics so so are you supposed to do these in this order Tread softly, <laughs> breathe peacefully, and then just like go crazy. So maybe, maybe, so this is, this though is like, a, this is like, like elements maybe yeah. of stoicism, right? Yeah. Be cautious, be calm. And then when you have a good time, don't shun the good time. Enjoy right. it fully. Right. Right. But as soon as that good time's over, 
You're, you're, I, I mean, I think it's great. I think back he, to zero. Mandela, two for two. Good, awesome. Okay, he's winning the uh, the quote the quote the quota wars. So far, yeah, the quota wars. Yeah, that's a fun one. Tread softly, breathe peacefully, laugh hysterically. Yeah, but hysterical is mad, right? Hysteria? But that's that's actually why I like it because it's introduced. It's not it's not laugh heartily. It's laugh hysterically. Yeah, I love it. So I wonder what it is. So tread softly. To tread is to walk or tra- mm-hmm. traverse, right? So softly. So don't make a big deal of what you're doing. Breathe don't. peacefully. I think of breathing as existing, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So peacefully doesn't mean shallow or heavy, right? Just without disturbing others, right? Right. So basically, don't show where you're going. Mm-hmm. Stay even keel, right, to maintain yourself. But then when you have a good time, woo! Yep. <laughs> be be like a, a 21 year old party girl yeah <laughs> okay all right here's mandela's last one when a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in he has no choice but to become an outlaw three for three buddy you like high, mandela high five nelson all right all right nelly did it i love it when a man is denied the right to live the life he believes in, he has no mm-hmm. choice to, but to become an outlaw. This one has a, a fair amount of, again, like personal reflection yep. and commitment that's, that's requiring the individual to execute their, their thoughts. Yeah. There's nothing, there's nothing impersonal about this. It's only personal responsibility in this. Yeah, it's great. It's saying like, if I'm not down with it, I will suffer the consequence. Th- this is like a good quote. It's for crazy poker, because what this is a what, good poker quote? What became of his administration, especially after his death, with with uh, with a huge amount of socialism taking over South Africa? The, like these quotes are crazy with respect to that, because see, I, I see know. I see socialism as being the exact opposite of personal responsibility. Sure. Sure. See, I don't. I, I wish I knew more uh, about that time. I mean, I'm not. I'm not an expert in South African history or politics by any means. But we, we did. We did have. We did have. Uh, in in middle school every year, we had uh, South African units, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. We had to read books about apartheid. It was yeah. Interesting. It was See, I don't interesting. Know much about it. It was, it was I don't know much about it at all. Yeah. But it, but that was also very recent in in mm-hmm. in the context of history to us, oh, yeah. right? That was happening it was our while lifetime, we were while we were kids. In the 80s? Cuz I was 90s. born in 85. The 90s. Yep. To the 90s. The 90s? Dude, Nirvana existed. Dude, uh, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So, does that so do you it? Like Nelson I think, I yeah, I think you should hit the outro. I, I really the outro? like those three Nelson Mandela quotes. <laughs>